Korea. I'm glad you're watching the first video of 2023 on my channel. I want to share everything I made in 2022 and probably inspire you to sew something similar. My handmade wardrobe consists rather of pastel tones than as bright as here. I love the different textures and patterns I have used to make it. And of course, there is always a space for some floral prints, which reflect my romantic nature. All these items are self-drafted and some patterns I can offer you as PDF files already. For example, this dress I made using my pattern seashell summer dress. I love the front detail and I love the puff sleeves. The fabric is tufted with dark cotton, which is slightly too sheer, but it doesn't bother me as it was the perfect dress for the hot summer days, lightweight and breathable. This cute crop top is the hack of seashell summer dress. I love the button finishing with pearls, and the fabric is beautiful textured cotton, which reminds me of embroidered lace fabric. I have video on the channel about making this top and how I slightly modified the pattern to make the feet more snug. The third item in the same pattern is just a shortened seashell summer dress. This time I got rid of the frills. Still, the blouse remained romantic and playful. The fabric is just polysatin. And the last top of the series is an upcycle project. It's a crop top which I made from the old Zara shirt. I like the cotton batiste fabric and it's print. I used to wear a shirt in high school and it contains a lot of pleasant memories of these years. So now it got a new life in this cute top and creation. I love its back. It has a covered button closure. Well, next is a bustier. Of course, it's my Rose Cafe pattern. One evening I just wanted to entertain myself and to use the scraps somehow, so I went for this cute tweed fabric remnant and the lace. I concluded that this pattern is a great scrap busting pattern, as the pieces are quite small and there's a space for the imagination and mixing different fabrics. I loved playing with different fabric textures. The tweed front part is interface and line, and the back is transparent. This year I made pants. Even more, I made the pattern of these pants. Dear ladies, I introduce you the moves, paperback pants. The next video will be making about such pants, and the pattern will be out very soon. These are super comfortable and look at the fit. And I think it's that bell tie and that they are really high waisted. I used cotton chino fabric for this. My absolutely most worn item this year is that quilted coat. I made it in spring and have worn it until May and started to wear it again in October. It's lined and the fabric was pre-quilted, its base is waterproof. I love the huge pockets I made. I used to hide my hands with the entire sleeve hems in them. To make these shorts I used the Muse paperback pants pattern. I just took the pants pattern and shortened it. For the released pattern, there will be another version of the shorts, the leg will be longer and wider, as I concluded that just shortening the pants won't be enough. But still, the shorts are quite pretty, considering I have a matching blazer, so it's a set. The blazer's feet is straight, the closure is double-breasted. I love the textured wool and its complicated ivory cream, a little bit greenish shade. But this fabric wrinkles quite a lot. I have a question. If I would release a blazer pattern, which fit do you like it to be? Fitted or straight? Let me know down below in the comments. The most cheerful dress in my collection is this yellow taupe dress. 
the fabric is viscose which I love because it's so flowy. I have a video on my channel where I show how to create this dress with no pattern, so we create a pattern on the fabric at once so it's free. Check it out and place yourself with a new spring dress. Look at the back detail and these cute crunchy straps. When I wear this dress, almost no passersby can help but smile. I released a pattern last year, Pleated Lily Dress. Have you checked the video? This dress I made out of flowy and heavy viscose fabric and ended up inserting two sleeve caps to maintain the puffiness of the sleeves. The dress is very comfortable, yet if you want to have more standard sleeves, then use stiffer fabric like cotton. I'm proud of this pattern. The two-piece bag with many darts looks so unique. And the sleeves and the pleated panel. This dress is made of the cotton bobbin. I just lengthened the skirt by 15 cm. Oh, how I love this dress. I feel so feminine in it. This is million button dress pattern modified with a godet skirt. I have the entire video with drafting instructions on this gorgeous skirt for the dress. Check it out! The fabric is cotton georgette, which was gifted by my lovely Instagram sewing friend Murni and Nika Nika Fabric Shop. Thank you! This small flannel dress was an experiment. I used the Rose Cafe Bustier pattern for the bodice and accompanied it with a half silk skirt. The fabric is from Nika Nika Fabrics. As the fabric is lined, I wanted the dress to be really lightweight and breathable, so I tried to make the bodies with no interfacing and lining, but should I say, I don't consider this experiment successful. I would use some interfacing at least only in the cap area next time. So this dress was my most worn summer dress. It's the very first prototype for the seashell summer dress pattern. I sew it with great passion and inspiration. The fabric is a usual cotton buckling, which is very comfortable, and I love the color very much. This was my New Year's Eve dress. I made it as a blazer, it's interfaced and lined, but with fitted sleeves and a handmade quilted belt, which tightens the waist. I used some fusible insulation to make it puffy. The inspiration for the belt was this pick. This is the first time I had a sparkling dress on holidays. The fabric is a gorgeous shiny jacquard. Last year I learned how to kite surf and I made it in my own wetsuit. Of course, it's far from professional, still it's a real 2mm thick neoprene wetsuit, which proved its ability to save the worms in water and is comfortable to move freely. I love the zigzag top stitching matching to the zip. Want to make some more swimwear out of this pattern and to try it as a bodysuit from different fabric. This is another dress made from a free video I have already mentioned for the yellow dress, but this dress has even greater skirt. I love the hem finishing with cotton lace. And this dress is accompanied by a Dalula bracelet, which my friends Rosa and Lauren have made with me. This transparent lace bustier is the most sexy thing I made this year. It's the Rose Cafe bustier modification inspired by a Gucci top. I have a video tutorial on this technique using a transparent corset mesh. The last thing I made is this asymmetrical wrap skirt. It's so versatile, I can imagine its styles in so many ways. What can be as versatile as the black mini skirt? This skirt has no zipper, only a button closure on the one side and a strap on the other side, so I consider it a beginner friendly pattern. Let me know if you are interested in such an easy yet stylish pattern. How do you like my 2022 Me Made collection? Which garment do you like especially? Maybe you're expecting me to make some 
buttons out of some of these ideas? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a creative sewing year.